good morning everyone and welcome to chemistry class and let's continue our next topic that is properties of ionic compounds the compounds containing ionic bonds are known as ionic compounds now let's start our topic that is properties of ionic compounds ionic compounds have high melting points and boiling points the ionic compounds are made up of positive and negative ions and there is a strong force of attraction between the oppositely charged ions so a lot of heat energy is required to break this force of attraction and melt or boil the ionic compound due to this ionic compounds have high melting points and high boiling points and if a substance has high melting point or high boiling point then we can say that it is an ionic compound and contains ionic bonds and the next chemical property is solubility ionic compounds are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents like ether acetone alcohol benzene kerosene oil etc the ionic compounds dissolve in water because water has a high dielectric constant due to which it weakens the attraction between the ions the organic liquids like ether benzene or kerosene oil cannot do so for example sodium chloride when dissolve in water then it is soluble but when it dissolve in ethanol then it is insoluble okay sodium chloride is soluble in water but insoluble in ethanol as ethanol is a organic solvent now let's discuss another property that is electrical conductivity ionic compounds conduct electricity when dissolved in water or when melted ionic compounds conduct electricity because they contain charged particles called ions but in solid state ionic compounds do not conduct electricity because the oppositely charged ions are held together by strong electrostatic forces of attraction and are not free to move similarly sodium chloride in molten state conducts electricity because on melting nacl splits to produce free ions in the melt therefore it conducts electricity and aqueous solution of an ionic compound conducts electricity because there are plenty of free ions in the solution which are able to conduct electric current for example when nacl is dissolved in water then it dissociates to produce free ions in the solution and conduct electricity okay so we can say that ionic compounds conduct electricity in this aqueous solution or in the molten state thank you students and have a nice day